Hello viewers, welcome to my channel and in this episode we want to take the topic binary operation. If you are new, consider subscribing to the channel to re receive more of my videos. Like, share and comment if you find this video educative. So we want to just take the introduction into binary operation. The word binary itself means what? Two. If you take into ICT, it means zeros and ones. Zeros and ones, that is binary, two. So the word binary means what? Composed of two pieces. So in this case, this is a binary uh, item. So we can call it a binary. If you become operation, then you become a binary operation. So a binary operation is simply a rule for combining two values. The rule that is given to you in order to combine two values to create a new rule and in this binary operation mathematical symbols such as the star the zero the triangle the quadrilateral or square etc are used on the left and they are defined at the right they are used on the left and defined at the right with a mathematical operators such as the plus minus times and division these are the operations that we know in mathematics. So what they are saying is that every equation consists of the left and the right. So the operators and the binary, any of these could be used at the left and they will be defined on the right. For example, if I have A star B, this is the left side of the equation. Therefore, these operations must be defined at the right with this operation so for example i can say this is going to be a minus 2ab plus what b squared so i am trying to define this is the new rule this is the rule which we are using to produce this new rule so simply put if we are to change the positions of a and b with a real number as in 3 star 1 if I'm to find 3 star 1, this is the rule given to me. So what it means is that now that the A is chained to 3, the B is chained to 1. It means everywhere I see A, B, A, B in this equation at the right must be chained before the values of 3 and 1. What I mean is that your A will now become 3 minus 2A, which will still be 3, times B, which is now 1 plus b squared, which is still what? Our 1. So a, a, as I can see, a, a, b, b. So b and b. So the operators in symbol-wise, as in binary, you can see these two terms being operated. Then it will be defined at our right. So this is simply going to mean that I will have 3, then minus the product of all these 3 will give me 6, as in 2 times 3. 6, 6 times 1 will still be 6, then 1 square will still give me 1. So this, I can decide to do board mass as in doing the addition first. But don't forget, in board mass also, we solve from left to right if it involves minus and plus. So it means I can first solve this, then add the answer to the plus. Let's see. This will become minus 3, as I can see, then plus 1. And since this is negative and this is positive, being smaller than this, I have negative 2. As if operation of A star B change to 3 star 1, that will give me negative 2 per this operation. And I said earlier on that under board mass also, we can also solve the addition first. Meaning, I would have preferred to bring the, the plus. Meaning 3 plus 1 minus 6. In this case, I will be having 4 minus 6. And I'll still end up getting what? Minus 2. So under the binary operation, all that we'll be doing is that we'll be taking the operators on the left defined in mathematical operations we know on the right to solve certain questions. So with this, so a binary operation, which in this case, we can take that as well, our star, is defined on the set of what? Rational numbers as follows. So A star B is given as or is defined on the right as what? A plus B plus 2AB, meaning twice the product of the two numbers. 
So if we are to evaluate one, the first one here is to evaluate seven star what two, meaning my a is now what seven, b is now what two. So I'll have seven plus two, two times a, which is seven, times b, which is now what two. So per this calculation, I'll be having first addition here. Or if I like, I can still maintain this to be 7 plus 2 plus the product here. 2 times 7, 14. 14 times 2 will be 28. Now we are adding all the 3. So 28 plus this will give you 30. 30 plus 7 will be 37. Meaning, per this operation, 7 star 2 will produce a value of 4, 37. Then similarly, if I take number 2, under this also, we are going to employ the principle of Bodman, meaning bracket first. Since we are saying binary, meaning we operate two pieces at a time. So we take the first two pieces, deal with that, get a single answer or a value, then we operate it on the second aspect. Meaning my A is now going to be 3 and your B is going to be what? 4. So in the first case, 3 star 4 will give you 3 plus 4, 2, 3, 4. A, B, then 2 A, B, 2 A, B will be what you get out there. So in all, 3 plus 4, if you multiply 2 by 3, you get 6. 6 times 4 will be 24. So 24 plus this will give us 28. Then we have 31. So we are going to have our 31. And this 31 is just for the bracket, not for the whole solution we are having here. So if that is the case, then the whole of this as in 3 star 4 star 5 will now become 31 star what? 5. Meaning the first bracket is now producing 31. So this becomes another binary operation to deal with. 31 star 5 will be A. 31 plus B plus twice 31 and B. So how do we get that? We still have our 31 plus 5. If you multiply this, we're having 62 times 5. Since we know that 62 is a whole num uh, an even number, you find half of it. And that will be what? 31, right? Half of this will be 31. So 31, add your 0 to it. Half of this will be 31. So half of 62, add 0 or multiply by 10, will give you this value. Then we continue by adding all the terms together. In that case, this added to this will give you 341. So 346 will be the value of 3 star 4 in 10 star what? 5. 1 over 2 star 2 over 3, meaning this is my A, right? The first term here will be 1 over 2 plus 2 over 3. Then plus 2 times the product of 1 over 2 and 2 over 3. So right away, in the first part, we are going to add this diagonally. We have learned how to use the butterfly word approach. So 1 times 3. We'll give you 3, we have plus. The second diagonal, 2 times 2, 4. Then you multiply your 2 by 3 as a denominator. So I'll be having 3 plus 4 over what? 2, 3, 6. Then plus 2 into bracket. In multiplication of a fraction, we learn that we multiply numerators together and the denominators also together. But we can cancel if we have a common factor. This is in a numerator, 
it can cancel this denominator. So I will be left with only 1 times 1 over 1 times 3, which will be 1 over 3. So in this calculation, you have 7 over 6 plus 2 multiplying 1 will give us what? 2 over 3. So another fraction to be added. This will be added to this. We can still use butterfly approach or we use the factor uh, method that is uh, equivalent fraction. I can see that I can make this to be the same as this as in having the same denominator. If I multiply the top by 2, the down by 2, since 2 over 2 is 1, the quotient has not been changed. I am only creating equivalent fraction of this, meaning 7 over 6 plus 4 over 6, the same denominator. So I only add 7 plus 6, 7 plus 4 over what? 6. And that gives us 11 out of 4, 6. So either we use butterfly approach, or we can also use equivalent fraction approach, whereby we create a like fraction for them to have the same denominator. So the only way you can do it is multiply the top and down with the same factor, which will end up giving you 4 over 6. Since we have the same denominator, we only add our numerators to get this. We can get this as our answer, or better still, convert this into a mixed fraction. As in how many 6, you can get in 11. We can only get what? 1 of those 6. What is remaining? 5 out of what? 6. So your answer can either be in the form 11 over 6 or one whole number 5 over 6. Alright, thank you so much for paying attention to this time. If you follow through the process, like, share and comment. Subscribe if you are new. Thank you.